Ladies and gentlemen, Salam Mike here again talking about technique. We're talking about the bench press and although we've talked about the bench press a lot we've talked about all of these things a lot and you can always refer back to those videos we do have a playlist of bench squat dead um, for all the informational stuff that we go over but um, something i keep seeing time and time again from um, you know middle tier middle upper tier and beginning lifters is not getting our um, elbow position correct in the bench press now people are talking about tucking um, tucking your elbows and that was kind of a cue I guess started in the bench shirt because it's just so important because you can't stretch the material in a bench shirt uh, with going elbows out. Now over tucking is also very common uh, and then choosing your grip placement and we talked about this a little bit too Boris Shako uh, roughly translated says uh, that you should choose the widest grip possible and over my years um, I used to not necessarily agree with that but the more I bench uh, the more I coach the more people I see bench, I'm starting to agree more and more. And what he means by that isn't that everybody should be full legal gripped, which means pointer on the ring, um, but uh, you should go as far out as your shoulder uh, mobility, as thick you are, as comfortable as you can bench because that's what's gonna allow you to do is obviously cut down range of motion. Same reason we kind of arch or we try to uh, stick our sternum high. Now we're not gonna overly arch, but if it can cut down range of motion and help stability, we're gonna help do it. And the same thing goes with that grip width. If we're wider out, that stability and the range of motion shortens. Uh, and over time, if you build a, a right musculature in that position with proper programming and technique, you will be able to bench press the most amount of weight. What I see is people benching too often about shoulder width. Now, when you talk close grip, you know, old school close grip guys are benching like this and that's great to build the tricep but it puts a lot of pressure on the shoulder what happens is is you can't get that range of motion the range of motion is longer the closer you're benching and you get internal rotation of the shoulder uh, to try to touch the bar to your chest now that causes an immense amount of pressure onto the front delt and people always talk about oh the front of my shoulder hurts my bench the front uh, bench hurts the front of my shoulder blah 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 you know what I mean uh, and so what we can do is obviously tuck that shoulder down move that grip further out and now my elbow is traveling less uh, distance past my body. See if the closer it is, it has to go way back here behind my body to touch my chest. If my grips moved out, my shoulders tucked, my sternum high, now I'm touching my chest and my elbow is is equidistant or in line with my body and that's going to allow for again less range of motion but less pressure on that shoulder and then we can build the musculature our chest triceps shoulders either through accessory or through that movement itself the other big key factor is with that same position we don't have to overly tuck and rotate that elbow we can just keep our elbow in line with our forearm in line with our wrist and as long as our shoulders are tucked and down my elbow will end up in the right position. And when people are talking about tucking their elbow, the real issue is, is that people are shrugged up and then elbows out. And again, that's a very long distance that my elbow has to travel for the bar to touch my chest, my shoulders internally rotating, causing pressure here. And now we have a long range of motion, a lot of pressure on our shoulder, and our elbow is traveling way past our midline, which is causing more pressure on our pec, which is where all the pec uh, tears happen. And that's where that cue tuck your elbow happens. But if I control the shoulder joint, pulling it back and pulling it down, pulling my sternum up, grip natural uh, width, a little bit wider than you may expect, we're gonna be a lot safer and a lot better position to press for long term. Um, the other thing is, again, with that elbow position, people will bring that grip way in, maybe shoulder width, maybe just outside. And not that this is wrong, I just don't think it's optimal for most. And our elbow will end up on the outside of our wrist. Again, now we're turning that thing into a tricep extension. Think about tricep extending your heaviest weight. Now, no one would say this is a good proper uh, push-up position or a press position. So then why would it be a best bench press position to lift the most amount of weight safely? Move that grip out. Keep our wrist, forearm, and elbow stacked as much as possible. Keeping that shoulder tucked back and in. Sternum as high as you can. Leg drive and all these other factors will help you keep that in position by pushing yourself back onto your traps. And then we're going to have longevity. Good programming over a long period of time, mixed with good technique, will not only build the right musculature to get strong, but also build the proper form that we won't get injured and we can lift for a long time. So today is my second bench day of the week and I'm purposely doing kind of a closer position with my elbows outside my forearm to build my triceps. Again, that extension movement will help build triceps along with my pec and shoulders. So I'm using a little bit less weight, doing sets of five to eight with a putting myself at a disadvantage in form. So then when I go back to my form, competition style, peak, whatever it may be, everything's gonna move a lot easier, a lot smoother.
concept of underloading, using less weight, but making the form or exercise more difficult so we can build strength over time. A pause squat is more difficult than your regular squat because you're losing that elasticity, that rebound out of the hole, so you use less weight, but you're making the exercise more difficult so you can still get stronger while handling less overall load, less overall systematic stress. Same applies for overhead, but obviously now we're vertical. So um, how we stack our wrists and elbows is gonna be a little different because we are kind of internally rotating. So our grip's gonna naturally be a little bit closer to get those forearms uh, on top of our elbows with the bar on top. So a wider grip, now we have that same issue of almost over tucking. So that's not gonna be optimal either. Watch out, fly. Move the grip in, stack it up, straight up and back. Ladies and gentlemen, Build your bench press. We do have a free bench press program, peaking program, always available below. Free, infinite program. It's a repeatable four weeks, customized to yourself. Read all the directions there before you start DMing me all these questions. Read the directions that come with it. We explain how to use it and how to customize it for yourself. Guys, I'm Solomon Mike. I'm out of here. Appreciate you.